fishermen. Generation after generation, they fish. Their boat is their home. This is the Fuyang fisherman's lot. But is it also his fate? Society and the nation change. The fishermen adapt. The lives and fortunes of Zhejiang's fisher folk now on Explore Zhejiang. It is early February. Rain and mist draw a curtain upon the Futun River. A hot sun has appeared over a sleepy shoal of the Futun. Xu Jinmen and his parents have returned. They live on Yuzhongchang Road in Fuyang. They are busy arranging fishing nets at the door of their home. Yuzhongchang Road, that's where most of Fuyang's fisherfolk live. Xu Jinwen's family, like many fisherfolk here, have been catching fish for generations, and it's said that they are the descendants of the nine surname clans of fishermen. There are many legends about the origins of the nine surname fishermen. One version is that the descendants of scholar bureaucrats of the Southern Song Dynasty made a living catching fish and singing songs here, a unscholarly safety net during troubled times. Another version is that historic notable Chen Youliang of the Ming Dynasty became an untouchable. Diaspora survived on fish and lived on boats, and for generations they wandered the rivers of the region. The fishing boats off Yuzhongchang Road anchor at Xianpu Key. Xianpu Key has been known by that name longer than anyone can remember. Today, it's a well-known scenic spot. In days past, the key was home to a veritable flotilla of fishing boats. Today, there are only half as many. Many fishermen have left the business and abandoned the lifestyle. After arranging his nets, Xu Jinwen will load them onto the boat. He is preparing for tomorrow's fishing. Every day, year round, it is the same. Only bad weather changes the routine. The two fishing boats, one large, one small, were left by Xu Jinwen's grandfather. They are part of the record of the Xu clan and their gradual diminution and the hard years of the nine surname fisher families. Come 一年期就是这样动好了,动好了一片一片的撕下去的,这样过的。一些呢,各个学员呢,每一期期的,就是这样的娃娃的。
Like in the old days, the nine surname fishermen had hard lives. Untouchables, a virtual class apart, they were politically disenfranchised. After the foundation of the new China, the fate of the nine surname fishermen became less cruel. Xu's family enjoyed a new life, and in 1963, Xu Jinwen's father was 28 years old, and according to local fisherfolk custom, he married. Day two. Along the bank of the Fuchun River, neon lamps glow. Xu Jin then pilots the boat with his father. They've come early. In this season, they set their nets at 3 or 4 a.m. before dawn. Fish are more active in the early morning and are caught more easily. Xu's family caught only five kilos of Crucian carp yesterday. Today, none is sure yet how much they will catch. In Xu's family, only Xu Jinmen carries the mantle of his ancestors. But it's not the only job he's ever had. <laughs> Xu Jinwen is now 45 years old. Eight years ago, the factory that employed him closed and his security job ended. Due to his age, education, and other reasons, Xu Jinwen looked for work for two years with no luck. This was the road he traveled back to the trade of his ancestors. Six o'clock in the morning, the sun has yet to show its face. Xu Jinwen and his parents pack up the nets. In different seasons, the fishermen here will use different gear, push nets and casting nets. In this season, Xu Jinwen sets 15 to 20 nets, each one about 100 meters long. It takes him nearly four hours to prepare and set each piece of gear. After stowing the nets, it's nearly eight o'clock. One by one, the fishermen return to harbor and bring their fish to market. Xu's family took only four or so kilos of fish today, less than yesterday. There are some dead ones in the hall. Xu Jinmen's mother hates to part with them. She'll take them home to eat. Xu Jinmen and his parents are always exposed to the weather. They set out early and return late, day after day, year round. <laughs> Do 
Prussian carp once sold for a few jiao per kilo, pennies per pound, more or less. Carp now fetch 20 yuan per kilo. Xu Jinwen and his parents earn between 70 and 80,000 yuan per year. Not a terrible income, on par with earnings from other professions. Still, many fishermen would rather work for others than fish. Uh, Xu Jinwen's mother has arranged the net and finished housework. She goes back to her Confucian classics. Xu Jinwen's father has caught river fish here for a long time. Xu Jinwen's mother started to believe in Buddha when she was in her 30s. She said her faith in Buddha is mainly driven by hopes for her husband's health and the health and safety of her family. Xu Jinwen's parents have caught fish here their whole life. Among the declining Futuan fishermen, they are the oldest. For Xu Jinwen, the fishing life is a choice. For his mother, it's her life. Today is the weekend, and Xu Jinwen's son is back home. He studies at an electronics school. Back home, he spends time in the local Xinhua bookstore reading. Xu Jinwen's parents didn't attend school. Xu Jinwen himself didn't finish primary school. And in Xu's family, Xu Jinwen's son has the highest education. So, does the life of a fisherman await him? Because of their age, Xu Jinwen's parents plan to retire from fishing. Xu Jinwen doesn't intend to seek another job. He'll work one boat like other fishermen and continue fishing. But he has other plans for his son. The flow of the Fu Chun River cannot return or restore days past. On the banks of the Fu Chun River, tall new buildings shoot up like wildflowers. Their presence both brings changes to this city and is a sign of those changes. The lives of Xu Jinwen and other fisherfolk are changing too. As for the fate of the nine surname fishing clans, that is beyond the warp and weft of their nets. <laughs>